You've got questions, we've got answers. Stay tuned to today's video. This is Dale, live streaming tech. And of course, you've left a lot of questions about some tech related things. And I thought it was best that Walt go ahead and answer them. Sadly, some of these questions were asked about seven months ago, as you'll see inside this video. So in any event, there are some timestamps down in the description down below if you want to jump to each one of the questions to hear what Walt's answers are. Just a heads up really quick, for some reason or another, he put a very tight noise gate on his microphone, so every now and then it kind of cut out. So this is why I kind of held off on launching this one. Justin asks, and I guess this is a question, i5 7th gen rx 580 sas fire question mark question mark and this is relating to the streamlabs obs settings for facebook so i'm assuming he's asking what he should probably go with well Justin, i always try to tell everyone especially if you're new to streaming you're starting out and you're really trying to get that because everyone's computer is going to be different whether you're streaming from a laptop or whether you're streaming from a pc uh, it's not one size fits all. I hate for videos to sound like that, but I would start probably around 720p uh, at 30 frames per second. And depending on the game that you're playing, you might want to turn some of those graphics down just a little bit. That way you can work your way up. So each stream, and matter of fact, I always say, get a dummy website. Um, so whether it be a Facebook business page, make a fake one, or if you're on Twitch, make a fake Twitch page. That way, no one who's following you yet, you can go on there, you can tweak your sound, your video, and whatnot. Okay, Slim Bullet. And it looks like somebody beat me to the punch. Sergeant Droid answered his question, and I think that was pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and read the question anyways. He's saying Ryzen 7 3700X with an RTX 2080 Super. Decent graphics card there, not bad. What's your recommended settings? I keep getting pixels. I'm assuming that's what he meant. It said Paxel, pixels and blurry. I'm level up Facebook gaming. Congrats, by the way. Uh, my current settings is 720, 60 frames per second. Excellent. Uh, I would drop that down to 30 frames per second. But, you know, if you're not finding any issues, which obviously you are, if you've got blur and pixelization, I don't think it's going to be your cause, though. You are using the encoder 264 with a uh, 4,500 bit rate, keyframe 2, CPU usage very fast streaming with a, C, a single pc should i stay at 720 30 frames per second with a 4000 bit rate um actually i don't think the bit rate is going to be your problem you can crank it as high as you want facebook is only going to allow you to hit their cap and i haven't been on there in a while but unless they raise their cap you're really not going to get that much bit rate out of them that's why the whole level up gaming thing they allow you to go to 1080p uh, but yet they still cap you at bit rate. So I kind of scratched my head at that. Hopefully they fix that by now. I'm going to find that out here in a day or two as I'm going back live on Facebook myself. Um, and uh, Sergeant Droid actually answered his question very simply. And he just says, try using the NBEC um, and uh, set it to max quality. While I would kind of disagree with the set max quality, um, but yes, I would definitely say try using your GPU versus your CPU to do your encoding. Once again, this isn't a size, one size fits all, but I do believe your uh, 2080 should be able to handle that workload unless you are playing a really high intense graphic game and you have everything. So once again, kind of drop those game settings down if you, uh, obviously you're a gamer, if you leveled up. So give that a shot. Uh, Vrutz, I think that's how you say your name. I have this PC, but it doesn't run this well. What's wrong? I have it plugged into the correct monitor by the GPU and not the motherboard uh, that drops frame P because it like drops frame PS. So what's wrong? I'm supposed to run Fortnite above average with my PC. It is rec uh, it has recommended parts. My GPU is a AMD RX uh, 560X. You have an i5 8 8400 and eight gigabyte of RAM. Okay, um, so here's the thing. If you are running Fortnite, and by the way, this was posted in the Alienware Aurora R7 Fortnite when we were playing around with the frames per second on that one. Um, so here's the thing. First thing I would do is save up any kind of money that you can get your hands a hold of, and I would say upgrade that RAM pronto. Get that at least to a six, 16 gigabytes of RAM. Um, your GPU, uh, it's it's okay and same with your uh your cpu the i5 there's nothing wrong with that you should definitely be running fortnite uh well 
But remember, if you are also trying to stream, I don't know if you're a streamer and you're coming and ask this question or you're just a gamer, but yes, you're right. You should be dropping that many frames per second. So go in there and kind of watch that video again and see how we tweak the settings and see if something like that works for you. But once again, I would say get uh, take care of that RAM, get that at least to 16 gigabytes of RAM minimum and uh, play around with that GPU to see what you can really handle on Fortnite. My OBS encoder not showing after update. My graphics card is an RX 460, four gigabyte, how to fix. Okay, so wait, you're using the RX 460. So right there, if, if you're trying to use uh, NVIC, um, that's not gonna work because that is a AMD card. And I think the AMD uh, encoder is still pure trash. So I would say, unfortunately, you're gonna probably use uh, CPU encoder for now. I hate to say that. And obviously you're streaming because you had, uh, post this question streaming to Facebook Live with OB. All right, 123 Pleasant Street, Morgantown. If we were shooting live stream concerts, what would you recommend the encoder to be set at software encoding or hardware encoding? I have a 2014 MacBook Pro uh, with NVIDIA GeForce GT 750M, two gigabytes Intel Iris Pro, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so here's the thing comes to live concerts that kind of stuff it's gonna vary man it's really gonna vary it depends on you know how many mics you're using where they're set up at are you just recording with the cam i i need more detail on that one um yeah uh, macbook oh i know everyone's like macbook macbook it's great for video and audio just it's it's it, it comes headaches when it comes to live streaming I would suggest investing in <laughs> a PC. I know <laughs> Dale's this, he's just, he's putting some kind of meme over me right now because he uses Mac as well. Now, it's uh, another question from two months ago. We're slowly climbing our way up the ladder, guys. That's good gaming. Okay, another question. All right, so obviously he's had one question, so Dale obviously answered. Uh, I am having a grand of a time with my window capture not picking up on my PS4, but the remote play picks up on the computer. I only have a blank screen, but the audio on OBS I'm using on Mac OS Catalina version. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to be afraid to say that. I don't know. You, you, you're you using a Mac and uh, M4, whatchamacallit, <laughs> it's a RK, I'm assuming that's how you say it. RKYT. Uh, he's putting something on there about the Mob Crush review. Uh, hi, sir. I'm from the Philippines. Hey, how you doing? Uh, what is it worth? Omelette or Mob Crush? I'm a newbie, sir, and I want to become a streamer. Thanks for the answer. More power to your channel, sir. Well, thank you. Thank you for the power. Uh, so here's the thing. You have, when it comes to multi-streaming onto different you have two that I would choose from, and that's because the fact that I've used both of them and they both have their pros and cons. I still lean a little bit more towards Mob Crush as far as easy to use, especially if you're using Streamlabs OBS. Streamlabs OBS built in. If you have the premium membership on Streamlabs, it's free. Um, the, it's like, I think, $14.99 a month. It unlocks all the apps and features. Apps. I would highly recommend it if you're interested in multi-stream. However, you can also go to Restream IO and they do have a free to use uh, software as well. And then of course they tier up different programs. Uh, the more you pay, the more you stream. Um, if you're new, I would like to recommend if you are using a multi-streaming uh, tool, uh, make sure you read your terms of services depending on the platforms that you're streaming to to make sure that you're not breaking any rules. And also, it's going to be a lot of plates to spin. So you might want to start out on one channel first before jumping into some sort of multi. At least give yourself a week or two and being able to keep up with one channel and be able to troubleshoot and make sure that you dial in all your OBS setting, Streamlabs OBS properly, get that perfect audio and video look that you're before moving on to other platforms. Two months ago, Big Worm Pappy. 
and he posted this question and alienware r7 should i upgrade it in addition what about changing the intel octane to samsung evo 970 plus question hmm no lar6 i think i said that right and if i did that's cool hey man i can't find my graphics card in my encoder please help me all right i'm gonna need a little bit more on that do you have an amd graphics card or do you have graphics should be popping up especially if you find that as far as encoding goes and that was posted in the facebook uh 2020 connor moore asks on the fortnite frames per second video which fps option did you choose for fortnite i'm thinking about buying one of these well if you get the r7 you can crank the mess out of that con telling you we had fun playing around with it even though my brother's not a huge fortnite fan and i totally suck eggs at it sip on kid gaming he's asking on streamlabs obs settings for facebook on the 2020 edition any recommended settings for gtx 1070 extreme and a ryzen 5 well that's pretty darn close to my uh rig set up there uh so he's asking for facebook live for PUBG. all right so right off the rip i'm going to tell you obviously if you're not leveled up there's no point on trying to crank the mess out of it go 720 p at 30 frames per second start out simple before you jump into anything higher uh turn the graphics down a little bit on pub g and increment uh, raise them it also depends on a lot what you got going on whether you're using your cpu encoder or your gpu encoder i'd recommend trying both to see which one works out for you and at the same time remember take baby steps change only one thing at a time so that way if you break it, you can back up and know exactly what. Juan Rodriguez asks, I have an AMD Ryzen 3700X and an MSI GeForce 270 graphics card. Should I use the software 264 or the end? Yeah, I would definitely say use the uh, CPU encoder on that one. Stay within the GPU. And then even then, you're, you're really going to be struggling. I, I like to ask you, Juan Rodriguez, what you're streaming now if you're just streaming you know reactionary videos on facebook or whether you're game streaming game streaming you might want to get a little bit more horsepower that doesn't mean that you can't stream games there's a lot of games that are not graphically intensive and that don't need to run at 60 frames per second probably do like magic the gathering or or minecraft something it's not going to really need that much horsepower but if you're playing like PUBG, some of these are going to be power are running into problems because your cpu and your gpu you're, you're 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 working them hard already just playing the game and once you start to go to stream you have to remember you have to encode as well to do that uh good luck on that one molecular molecular asks hey my bandwidth test results are always never reach or go above 5,000 kilobits per second even though i have 30 megabits per second upload speed and I tested it in the region nearest to me, which is Asia. I've tested it multiple times and when there's only me using the connection. Do you know why this could happen? So you are using the Twitch bandwidth test. That's just gonna be their server. Uh, so in, in other words, have you checked your speeds uh, doing an internet speed test without going through Twitch and then you're hitting Twitch's Asia server? Um, there's gonna, there probably is gonna be, a, you gotta remember, uh, when you're doing a bandwidth test, you're hitting that hub or wherever you're telling it to speed test to. Like I always like to pick out, even though we live here in Columbus, Ohio, I like to pick like Chicago, New York, Washington, DC when I do my speed test. Uh, Cause that gives me a more understanding of what true speeds I have versus just hitting that hub that's down the road from me. Um, so that can give you kind of a false reading. Well, um, and yes, I know, Trust me, I run into the same issue where I pay for such and such speed, but I never truly seem to get that unless I'm up at two, three. But when you start speed testing the actual Twitch servers, uh, you have to remember you're gonna be jumping through hoops and whatnot, and it depends on how many people on the server. It's also probably gonna dictate your speed. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Smash that like button. Of course, dropping kind of comments. Let Walt know that he really needs to 
you know, get out of the cave that he was shooting in, which <laughs> he has since. And he's got a better quality mic. And the uh, right, well, hey, YouTube wants you to take a look at this video or you can take a look at this video. Either one of them. We'll see you in either.